Uh, uh, thanks. <laughs> Captain <laughs> voice acting. Hey everybody, welcome Flare back. Out. Fla Fla well, we do need some light, don't we? Uh, we're less left off, uh, we're at the start of session two, so excuse us if we forget everything. Uh, however, I remember I went into this cave here because I wanted to basically finish off uh, Copy Protection Mountain. And we can use the tinderbox here, which we already have on us. We'll even just use it on ourselves. Alexander takes the candle from his tinderbox and uses the flint in the box to light it. There we go. I think this is the last use of the tinderbox that we actually needed to do. Did it forget our game speed? It does. Every time I boot it, doesn't it? There we go. Alexander go in that little hole. Crawls through the opening in the rock. Yeah, even if you know where you're going, you can't go through the hole until he has seen it. The lighting in this part of the cave is better. Alexander extinguishes the candle's flame and places it back in his pack. All right, what's it here? A natural window-like opening in the rock provides a view to the outside world. A peppermint plant grows on the window's ledge. Well, we're definitely going to need some of that. What? I, I took him in! G get over there. Yeah. Alexander takes a few leaves from the plant. As he does so, a strong smell of peppermint is released. Ah. Oh. Oh. The undertow, I mean. <laughs> the undertow of the peppermint plant just sucks me out the window. Whoa. <laughs> it's great. You know, I don't know about you guys, but when I think, ah, uh, I think like A with a bunch of H's, just A-H. Like, it's like, he took a leaf yeah. of the pep peppermint plant. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really how I wish they read it. All right, that's Alexander that's all we do here. Back into the first room of the that game. was it? Yeah, we That's needed so we needed a bit of peppermint. Look, Brandon, this game is all about I took him in. Alright, I don't care if Alexander can see a thing or not. We're leaving. I think that's the only Alexander point of this cave. Back the Alexander can see a thing. He grabbed a mint. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I took him in. <laughs> Alright, uh, we don't need to come back here almost ever. I think it's just walk. Go back in the throne room and have them kill you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, if I do walk up there, they will have you killed. They're douches. The long face of the logic cliffs. Dum, dum. Right. <laughs> we really need dum, to dum. watch it every time. Dum, dum. Oh, God damn it. And then just decides that I have to do the rest of it. Fine. Can oh, I just no. fall off? Alexander loses his balance. Oh, no. Whoa, From here, he wouldn't whoa, die. Whoa. Oh, hey. There, that's why I told him to get off of it. If you're this, if you're <laughs> hey. only, if you're only around here-ish, then you don't die. He just complains. All right, no undertow. Uh, we don't need to come back here for a long ass time, thank God. Alexander pulls out his magic map. All right, let's get yep. off this shitty island. Okay, you may notice you the there's something island? new on the map. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I can't exactly explain why, but uh, we've been told before that there may be more than the four islands hidden in the mists. Well, after being told that there is in fact an Isle of the Mists by the, um, by the seer we just saw, it's now on our map and we can teleport to it. Now, she said something about her writing it into our map and inscribing a spell to teleport there on it, I miss that shit, but we can just go here now? Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. The undertow of the mists. Oh no. Now thankfully this is not the game mist, or else we'd be here for a lot longer. All right. From the northeast yeah. come the sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. I don't believe there's a lot oh, we can do here right now, but we can do a ooga, little. Ooga, ooga, is this racism island? <laughs> yes. Sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. All right. Well, first of all, this stands the fuck out. Alexander takes the scythe. Alexander steals from the villagers. Alexander I took becomes a scythe. death. Alexander reaches into the fire pit and takes a lump of coal. Aha! His eyes catch on fire. 
What an asshole. That's you're just going around stealing everything, but you he remember- He comes into town uh, and just starts stealing. <laughs> but you remember the- He was either the White Queen or the Red Queen wanted a lump of coal. From the northeast come this- <laughs> I don't know, I don't see color. I, I, didn't I make that joke last time? Go in, grab a scythe, grab a lump of coal. Oh, well, see ya. Uh, did we want to go? Okay, so I know something we can do on the Isle of Wonder and on the Isle of the Beast, but I'm more confident that we're ready for the one on Isle of Wonder. Alexander, So we got the lump of coal. We know who wants that, so I guess we'll do that now and hope for a good item. I don't remember what we get. We still never solved the spelling bee thing. Uh, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do there. Fuck, no, not that screen. Uh, oh, right, uh, this. Do you notice anything different about the screen? Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, that that's weird. The, the, uh, the bottle? Yeah. Um. Drink me. I, yeah, but I have no idea oh, why yeah. this is here now. It is probably the laziest, like, gating of an item in the entire game. It just appears, and I, I believe it appears after you've done the labyrinth. You have no reason to know you need to come back here to get this. Either then, that they know, the, the developers know the player has to go back here to give the coal anyway, so they'll be going through this screen and probably notice it. There is nothing that I did that made this appear. There's a small bottle on the coffee table. It bears a label that reads, drink me. All right. Let's... Allergens included are. Hold on, can I say no? The bottle doesn't answer Alexander. I just Bitch. love that there's voice acted dialogue specifically for attempting to talk to a bottle. Alexander picks up the bottle. Okay. Uh, can we get a better look at this? Drink me. Yeah. The little bottle contains some sort of potion and bears a label saying, drink me. That's rather forward of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another thing that uh, I end up getting told every now and then is like, hey, that's very forward of you whenever I tell someone to drink me. Yeah, it's uh, you should probably stop doing that, really. Yeah. All right, are they showing up? Because I have the loading crown. King White Knight. They had to play the jingle before they could arrive, though. It's a fanfare. King Queen. Your Highness may as well spend her royal time contemplating something else. The lump of coal shall be sent to the Castle of the Crown under my name, and that's all there is to it. No, it shan't. Yes, it shall. If the this is petty. Is sent in your name, I shall royally decree a ban on all red on this isle. Racist. You do, and I shall royally decree. I came in here to have an argument. No, you didn't. You came in here to have an argument. <laughs> mopping up of cabbage stew. You wouldn't dare. Oh, wouldn't I? Oh, it's you. Have you thought of any more of those brilliant ideas of yours? I have to keep myself occupied. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, the lump of coal. Here you go. I found the two of you another lump of coal so that you can stop fighting over the one you have. King Prince oh, Alexander. His tiny crown. A lump of coal. And what a beauty it is too. Oh, marvelous. And then they compress it down. Wait a minute. This is a diamond. Can just take, take this back. Throw it back at me. I'll take this new one. Skewers him. Quite right. That settles everything. Oh, but the subtitles said this settled everything. I thought they were going to fight over who had the new one. Except this magnificent and truly incredible spoiled egg. A good egg. Uh, uh, thanks. <laughs> Captain voice acting. <laughs> it is a beauty, isn't it? Why, it's bigger than my lump of coal. Oh, there we, we go. have it immediately. Over my dead body, your highness, it's my lump of coal. And it is indeed larger and much grander. Just look at that sheen. Chica -chica. I demand you exchange with me immediately. That's <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> 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 All right, we're done here. 
Um, okay. Uh, let me think. What can I do next? Okay, so we can do some stuff on the Isle of the Beast. Um, uh, what? Hold on. Yeah, rotten egg. The spoiled egg has a slightly yellowed shell that bulges in spots from the pressure of the gases inside. Wonderful. Gross. Alexander All right. Uh, we need to go to the Isle Alexander of the Beasts. So the puzzle we were stuck on here was there's a stone archer that shoots us in the fucking head, and it's way oh, too right. realistic. It was kind I of fucked up. That. Uh, no, don't talk to a tree. <laughs> Come on, Alexander, you got this. Dance across the water. <laughs> All right, we're gonna save uh, Archer. Okay, we got a shield. Uh, Alexander decides to pass through the gate, preparing the shield just in case. There we go. We got this in the labyrinth. The magic arrow completely shatters the shield. Good thing the arrow didn't hit Alexander. Yeah, and he's he's just got the one arrow because he's a statue. Uh, so let's go. Alexander walks forward to step onto the gazebo. But the rose hedges on either side of the path, sensing an intruder's presence, reach out their vines and blend together. The Use path the box. is blocked. I feel like that tinder block box would be a fucking horrible idea. Cause a wildfire. Uh, we have a site. Take a mint. <laughs> Take a mint. Alexander wields the scythe, determined to get past the magical rose hedges. The leaves <laughs> fly as Alexander tries to cut the branches faster than they can grow back together. <laughs> he sees light. It seems like it's daytime, what? Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! He's light. What the fuck? Who dares enter Beast Garden? I wonder My what myth is this is. Hello, sir. I'm mean a beauty. I disturb your private garden. No. And yet, monsieur, you could hardly have accidentally broken through the three enchanted traps of the Isle of the Beast. Um, I... I suppose it is simply my nature to break through enchanted traps. <sighs> and I run when the sun comes you up. You must be a prince, then. With my heart's on the line. I know the nature of princes all too well. This face you see before you is hideous, is it not? Well, for the face of a beast, it is really quite noble. Ha! I'm glad you like it, for you will soon own one just like it. I, too, was once a pretty prince, caring for nothing but adventuring and rescuing fair maidens. But I rankled one too many evil hands. Rankled? That's a good one word. One dark night, I was turned into this obscenity you see before you, warped in shape and trapped on this enchanted island over a hundred years ago. Surely there is a way off this island. Oh, oh there is. Surely. But don't call me you Shirley. You broke in, did you not? And yet think... Where would I go, clad so eloquently as I am with this silk and this pelt? You see, my prison is also my sanctuary. You are the first to break through the barriers in lo these many years. That is, except for the druids who stole my heirloom coat of arms. If there's any way I can help... Help? You? I'm afraid you don't understand. The enchanted barriers were a warning and protection for you more than for me. Your prize for forcing your way past them is to join me in this dire life. By the laws of this sorcery, you are doomed to be trapped in the form of a beast. Your reward for broaching this garden is to be my slave. A slave as beastly as I am. Yay! You have only a few hours of humanity left. But that's not possible. There must be some way to break the enchantment. Spells always have a weakness somewhere. The enchantment you are under is tied to my own. Oh, the sorceress left me a way out. But I'm afraid it was only her final bitter joke. You see, I need only find a maiden to join me here. To share my castle, my life, willingly. Take another look at me. You can't help but admire the hag's terrible cruelty and cunning. 
I shall try to find such a maid. For Kasima's sake. <laughs> How wait. Wait a minute, Kasima <laughs> sacrifices her. Man on an impossible errand. However, you may do as you please. I give you this token. It's my family ring and the only heirloom it's I have mint. left. <laughs> perhaps you should, if you think you have found a maid. <sighs> I shall give her this ring. Yes, she must accept it of her own free will. By doing so, she accepts me. Not that you shall find anyone, mind you. Your time is short. Count the minutes on your fingers while your fingers you have, pretty prince. Your master will await you. His nose bothers me, like the placement of his nose. Like he has a sight, uh, a snout. I saw the scythe. He has a snout close to his eyes. But his mouth has no, like, nose where you'd assume a type of pig nose would be. Yeah, it's weird. He le he looks less like a boar monster, like I think he's supposed to, and more like a banga from Final Fantasy Tactics. It's really strange. Um, so I'm on the inventory menu because that essentially pauses the game. We genuinely only have a short amount of time before we turn into a monster and that's game over. And uh, it's time oh. to game speed, I think. So we gotta, we gotta move fast. Where are we gonna find a maiden? Cinderella. There you go. It's like I said before. It's all about identifying uh, what like fairy tale you're in and what the solution is. If he's the beast, then she's beauty. So we need need to convince her. Just so that we don't turn into a monster, Alexander. we need to then ruin her life and get her hooked up with this douchebag who has been just an unrelenting asshole to us since Alexander we met Vision. him. We're a really great guy. When we met him literally moments ago. Yeah, he has been nothing but a douche, even though all we've ever done to him is be nice and say that we'll get him a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the fuck up. For a split second there, Alexander was the size of the town. Oh, hey, look, magically, for the one time ever, she's out here and we're allowed to talk to her. Good day, maid. My name is Alexander. How do you do? I'm sorry, sir. But I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. Will you date my ugly as sin friend? Uh... Do we really Here, open by ring. showing the... Where? Um, do we really open by showing the ring? That might be it. Would you have a use for this? This hey, word? The shy girl only shakes her head, blushes, and continues tending her roses. Where are you going? Oh my! I feel like we don't open with a <laughs> skull. Yeah, show Get her a human skull. skull. Give her, give her the mustache. <laughs> the shy girl only. Damn, she didn't accept the human skull from the stranger. Well, um, at least we can deconfirm that she likes necrophilia. Give her the yeah. knife so she can kill her family. <laughs> <laughs> Do we really open with the ring on this? I think that might actually be the solution. I know, obviously, we show her the ring, but I was thinking maybe we show her something else first, like a conversation starter. I think the answer. Smell this flower. She faints. Might actually be the fucking ring. Is it? Alexander. No. It, is it the, the ribbon? ribbon? No. Pick it up. The red ribbon is too dear to Alexander's heart to be given away. Yeah, he got it from because that's from Casima. Oh, yeah. Well, whatever, Alexander. Look, she's gonna He'll see give some. Away his family give ring. ring. If we don't convince her here, then she's gonna see some shit. Stranger walks up to her and is like, "Want a skull?" And she's like, "No." And then he turns into a boar monster. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, maid. But I have someone I'd like to tell you about. His name is Jesus Christ. I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. Oh, you are God. to talk to this stranger. Uh, Do you have to become somebody familiar to her? Have a, a flower that smells bad. Would you have a use for the shy? Uh, no. can I just talk to you? The no, she's not allowed to talk to you. Mm. Of the tall, handsome Alexander. I'm sorry, is, is that, that what it said? To talk to her as a beast. No, that because when I become a beast, it's game over. Uh, uh, I maybe we don't have the item for pieces. this. What happens if you drink the potion? This drink me potion that just makes him small. Yeah. Alexander doesn't know what that potion might do. He doesn't want to frighten the young girl, 
and there's no one else here who might be impressed with the results. Uh. Would you have a use for the shy? No. Fuck. I Give think we, we might not have the the item for this. That would serve no. The serving girl is too shy to even reply to Alexander. Uh. Alexander rubs the lamp, but nothing happens. Ah, well, I guess it was worth a try. I like the imagery of um. He pulls out the lamp, shows it to her. She's just not you taking have a it. Use then he the shy? looks at it himself and rubs it just for a little bit, Those and then puts it away. Those are not worth enough to do the serving girl any good. Eh. <laughs> yeah, I got her. Uh. The egg may crack if Alex. No. Uh, uh, grab it. Would you have a use the shy? <laughs> Fuck yeah! I think we don't have the item for this puzzle. Uh, eat the rotten egg! The spoiled egg to see what's inside. Phew. <laughs> smells like sulfur. The egg, shell and all, disintegrates into a cloud of evil-smelling gas which floats away. <laughs> oh well, what possible use could Alexander have found for a spoiled egg? Well, that's a save file ruiner right there, losing an item. All right, we'll just stand here and transform things. I don't think we have the item anyway. What funny thing could we put on our head right now? Here we go. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. <laughs> All right, we should be transforming any second. Now put it on her. I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet, actually. There you go. <laughs> Can I pick a rose and then give it back to her? Alexander has not been invited to pick the family's roses. Can I break in? Alexander doesn't want to intr- <sighs> Damn. I think maybe I do need to give her a flower. I just don't remember where I get one. Because the only flower we have is the one that smells horrible, and I already tried that. Why have I not transformed yet? Pick one of the Snapdragons. I don't think I can. Okay, highest game speed. Any second now. He did say a couple of hours. Normally it's faster. Maybe in this remake they made it so it takes longer. Well, fuck waiting for that. All right, uh, Archer. Well, we can still do this puzzle just to get it out of the way. Alex eh. There we go. Is there anything else over here? Is there like something over here? No. With the gardener gone, Alexander can see that the garden plot is hardly more than a fresh patch of dirt. Yeah. Flowering rose hedges grow on either side Ooh. of the path winding north. Can I pick one? Flowering. Alexander takes hey! a white rose from the rose hedge. There we go. White rose, yeah. That's a conversation starter right there. All right. You the don't need to walk yet. I, eh. Walked up to a girl you don't know. Give her a white rose. Yeah. Tell her paint this red. Leaves fly as Mighty Alexander. All right. Bye. Ting tang, walla walla, bing bang. We did it. <laughs> All right, get the fuck out of here. Shuffle faster, Alexander. <laughs> All right, uh, Matt. Alex yeah, strange pulling success, succession, sensation. Succession, the undertow. Uh, the undertow of the magic map. Uh, come on, Alexander, cycle through your right click options faster. His feet go so fast and his body goes so slow. <laughs> uh, stranger, I got this rose. <laughs> I almost gave her the egg. No. Eh. Put the egg on the rose. Pardon me, maid. There we go. I hope you don't think me forward, but I see that you like roses. I thought you might perhaps his eyebrows. Like a fresh white rose. Alexander can see the conflict in the girl's pretty face as she fights between her distrust of him and her desire for the white rose. The rose wins. TKO! <laughs> oh, I shouldn't, sir, but it is so lovely. I've never seen a rose of white. It looks so pale and delicate. Wherever did you find one of such a color? There are many hedges of them on the Isle of the Beast, and they grow together like magic. 
Oh, truly? What an adventure that must be to see them. But I should not speak so, especially to a stranger. Thank you for the rose, though. I, kind I just want to see him hit a nice neck breaker over the fucking, <laughs> the fucking game. Just, <laughs> just grab her and just neck break her right on the game. Yep. On the thorns. <laughs> yeah. Alexander can't. Right no, on that fence. You can't break beast spell. You're trying to touch it. Oh, uh, sorry. It's there's a fucking gotta, finger, and then there's a computer gotta, cursor. Like, what's the difference? It. God. Got a mouse it, not finger. Alexander has a thought about the serving girl. He decides to bring up the subject of beast. With what her. he didn't know that until it <laughs> was that what the rose was all about. Roses grow. The Isle of the Beast is an enchanted place. There's a path running through a deep forest. So manipulative. The path crosses three magic blockades set to keep all visitors away. At the center lives a tremendous beast. Really? Magic blockades? How exciting. King Servant Girl. Beast. Is it very terrifying and ferocious? It is very, very terrifying. It walks on two <laughs> legs and dresses like a prince. It speaks with the voice of a man. A beast that Stop calling it clothes? it! You're not selling this! Is the beast magic too? Not magical. And not magical. Just kind of a douche. Once a prince, but a witch trapped him in the form of a beast. You'd be surprised at how many people nowadays get those two there mixed he up. Lives in a castle He's not magical. He's just a dick. Maze. How terrible. Imagine how lonely he must be. It is a very lonely prospect, isn't it? Oh, I have met him, you see. He is indeed ferocious, but who would not be? He really exists? Oh, how it breaks my heart. If I could, I would tend to such a beast. Such a beast <laughs> might find comfort in a kind face. Do you not think it's so? Oh. Her face doesn't look I kind. Think it's so. I very much think She kind of so. freaks me out. Yeah. You would not be afraid of him? Afraid? Maybe at first. But how silly of me to speak so. The roses in this little yard are the only magic I will ever see. I could take you there. In fact, I would owe you my life if you would go. If you truly wish to go. You are serious? I could leave here? We're actually just a kidnapper. Oh, oh wait, we have to I give her the potion, don't we? Anything. But to actually go. This oh, is yeah, shrink her down, put it in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Should be Home part of your inventory. To leave, <laughs> even if you're unhappy there. But I will go. If I can help him, I, I must go. No, I, I mean, what's going to stop her? The old lady who Step yells mother. at her? You put her in your inventory, go back to the store? I took a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Alexander, trade her in for this nightingale. That's what they are there for. <laughs> Take this ring. It is his. He will be pleased if you would wear it. Why, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Thank you kindly, sir. Beauty, where do you think you're going? Beauty. To a place where roses grow and to someone who truly needs me. I'm just a Whoa. kidnapper. She's there really gullible. What the fuck? Ring. A Is mongoose. <laughs> King mongoose. Me, oh man. Do you know what that means? Yes, my lord, I do. I have been Is the eye supposed to be story. golden? Or is it just drawn badly? Oh, but it is a gentle face and kind. You look at me so sweet Doesn't look kind to me. Repulsed. Oh. By the light of your eyes, my spirit soars. The enchantment. <laughs> it is yep. broken. That's wow. about how much of a... I think mean, he's even more of a douche. Do you still wish me to stay? What? Speak not such nonsense. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you Beethoven. Think nothing of true love during my time. King Beethoven. You are my queen. The cheekbones and the butt chin. <laughs> oh, my clothes. What the fuck is going on? It's your noble heart. Alexander, oh, it's glinting. How can I ever repay you? I oh, yeah. Except my gratitude, but please 
Take these old clothes. No longer a Perhaps king mongoose. Take these old clothes. clothes. You already repaid me by your example of courage, beauty. I thought he was just gonna transform her clothes, friendship. not like actually strip her and put her into a new dress. Our friendship and loyalty, Prince Alexander. I don't want but your friendship. I want your Take wig, though. Advice. If you find your true. This is real hair. I, that's what I choose to believe. We're all beasts. Uh... Humanity of love. And to aid you, accept my mirror. Now that my life is no longer hung in false shadows, I have no need for it. Now that I'm no longer so hung. With nothing to fear from the truth it reveals. Thank you. I wish you both well. Come, beauty. Let me take you home. We're in love, but we just met. Yeah, that, that was an easy solution to a complex problem. Uh, Let's go to my citadel-like prison through this maze. You step on the mongoose. Do, 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 Hit it with the scythe. No, I don't have control. Now I do. There we go. All right, Aww. curse is broken, and we're really fast. I should turn that down a little for safety. It's like there. Uh, I don't have an empty bottle, do I? You no. have a bottle. Oh, well. The glass bottle is full of oh. milk. How strange for a plant to produce not only milk, but a container to go with it. Find a baby, pour the milk on top of it, and then come back here and fill, fill it with water. Put the girl's Baby's clothes on. clothes are very ragged and heavy. They consist of a long, thick dress and a headpiece which covers the hair and most of the face. Convenient. Yep, so if we wanted, we could use that to sneak into the castle right now and go for one of the <laughs> not-as-good endings. Although we have done decent setup for good endings, I say we try and go for the best ending, though. I think I remember most of the stuff to do that, which requires that we don't use the clothes for that. The, the clothes can be used to solve one of two puzzles. One of them is getting into the castle like that by sneaking in. Uh, let's use it on the other one, though, because that leads to a better <laughs> ending. <laughs> All right, uh, on the next episode, everybody, I try to remember where we go next. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya. The Undertow!